By nature, big decimals are immutable, which means once the object is created, it cannot be modified. So when it comes to performing arithmetic operations, they aren't all that friendly or performant. There are lots of utilities dealing with primitives, such as Guava's math utilities, but in this tutorial we'll show how Java 8 has simplified summing a series of big decimals from a collection. Creating a project from a Maven archetype and importing it into Eclipse, we will update the JUnit reference to JUnit 4. Initializing an array list of big decimals, we will add the elements in the setup method, which have a sum of 15. You will need to create an object to store the sum value and iterate over the array list with a for loop. When you call big decimals add, it will produce a new object in which we need to set our variable add big decimals equal to the result. Using a JUnit assert statement, we will validate the result is equal to 15. Let's run our example and verify the behavior. Java 8 introduced terminal operations such as average, sum, min, max, and count, which wraps the general purpose stream.reduce each in their own way. Converting an array list to a stream will enable us to call the general purpose reduce method passing in big decimal dot zero as, as the identify parameter and big decimal add as the accumulator method. Let's run our result and verify the behavior. Next, if you're dealing with null values within your list of big decimals, most likely you will hit a null pointer exception when you try to add them together. Using a stream, we can filter null values prior to reduction operation to void an error. If you don't have the luxury of Java 8 yet, you could use Guava and filter null references from your array list. Let's run our example and verify we don't receive a null pointer exception and that our results are summed to 15. In our last snippet, we will sum the fields of a given object of type big decimal. First, we will create an object car, which has a field miles of type big decimal. Declaring miles as big decimal is for demonstration purposes only, as you likely wouldn't do this in the real world. Next, we will initialize a list with the diamond operator adding car objects. It is important to note we added a null object and initialized a car object with a null miles value. Once we add values to the vehicle object, we will want to write code to sum all values within a list using Java 8 syntax. Remember, we first need to filter null cars objects and also car objects with miles set to null. Next, calling dot map will return the stream of big decimals, and just like before, we'll reduce the values and sum up the elements. Thanks for joining in today's level up. Have a great day.